Okay folks, 16th of May, um, another episode of Crops Watch. Um, we're here with a new farmer today, um, one of the newer generation who are practicing conservation agriculture. A um, man who's doing his best to use less agrochemical, which might sound strange given the fact we sell ag chemicals, but he's putting an awful lot of focus into minding the soil because the soil will mind the crop. So he's taking good care of his soil. He's applying a lot of foliar nutrition, soil-based nutrition, doing a lot of soil tests, a lot of leaf analysis. He's direct drilling. And through all of those methods, he's growing crops with less agrochemical inputs, spending a lot of nutrition, but spending less on chemicals. So James Julian is the man's name. Yeah, sure. This is a uh, Costello winter wheat. It's uh, grown for seed for Glambia. It's been direct drilled <coughs> with a weave and drill. We made the move to the weave and drill there a number of years ago. Start was a uh, basically from a labour point of view, the idea came around. But then, as we looked further into it, it really showed big improvements for the environment and soil health and crop health as well. So we moved that way. Would have been spreading a lot of organic fertilisers here the last number of years would have been focusing big on soil health. So once we've got a good balance of nutrients in the soil up, then we kind of start focusing the plant itself, plant health, because all available nutrients are in the soil aren't available to the plant at any given time. So start doing leaf analysis. We're on the second one on this field for this year, waiting for the results to come back. So whatever the plant is low in, it gets it in micronutrients. Try to cut back a bit on the fungicides, but not shutting the door on them if needs be. They'll get what the crop will get what it needs. Is it fair to say you would have started the process of bringing your soils forward from your typical worn out plough based system for a few years before you went direct drilling? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like we would have been spring barley and just beet here years ago and sheep. So obviously, it was just once the beef factory went. It was just went all spring barley, so we introduced beans, then winter wheat, winter oats, winter barley. Organic fertilizers, then started cover cropping as well. And slowly over the last couple of years, all the farms being direct drilled now. All right. And another crop um, that you've been sowing for a number of years, a lot of people got turned off last year is beans. You're direct drilling your beans as well with the weaving drill. Again, you've gone grow, grow plan B plus earlier, you'll follow with multiplex. Even though yields were poor last year, you'd see beans as key to the rotation of the whole farm? Oh yeah, definitely. Like They're not an overly expensive crop to grow, but what the bean plant does for soil health is just... You won't get it as easy, mm. I don't think, mm. from, from such little input. And like same as anything, like beans is usually a very hungry crop for boron as well, so the beans have got two goes of boron so far, so okay. they'll be getting probably a third as well. Since you've started down the direct drill route, um, any negatives? Patience. Right. You need a lot of patience. Right. Sometimes they don't have it, but look, it's manners and patience, and just knowing when to when to mm. when to go, when not to go. Mm. And a mistake, I suppose, a, a lot of people. While I'm not practicing direct drilling yet myself, um, they think it's all about the drill. But as a wise man said to me, it's about the soil, not about the drill. Oh yes, the drill is the last piece of the puzzle really, it's all down to soil, like there's no point in just heading out into a field with a direct drill and dropping it and hoping everyone's going to be okay, like that's where you'll fail miserably. And what sort of a range of crops are you growing in the rotation? So there's beans usually followed by winter wheat, winter oats, winter barley and spring barley. Okay. Cover crops in between all crops if possible at most times. Right. And again, something we touched on in our last video on spring barley, some people have been concerned this year about how to take out the cover crops in the following crop as such. We've been using Cameo and Convara. Are you seen any problems taking out the cover crops in the following crop once you've the right herbicide? Once you've the right herbicide, usually no. So yeah, no, no complaints so far, only positive. Not so far anyway, but sure, look, every day is a school day, like just, we're learning every day more about it as well, like so hopefully, keep getting better at grand so as i said well it's very different to our normal crops watch video where we're just talking about the chemicals being put on here we have a guy getting away with using less chemicals but he's really paying attention to detail with the crop he's not pushing them too hard with nitrogen but he's spending a lot of money on the likes of the products we keep talking about cereal ally uplift sulfur mag all those products so it's working for him not everybody can make it work but if you pay attention to detail this system can work